Bullshit. I've debated about making this video for a while because of the, you know, the the, the pandemic that we uh, that's going on. This game, oh my god, let let me set some background for you guys. I've been playing NHL 21 since the day it came out. I pre-ordered it, so I've played it religiously, competitively, relaxed, all game. If, it, if there's a game mode in the game, I've played it. It's not the only NHL game I've played, though. I've played every single NHL game since 2K10 on the Wii. Yeah, I played during that phase. That was a bad phase. And for God's sake, I've played 11 days. 11 days. How many hours is that? That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Like, if there's anybody to talk about this, I feel unqualified enough to do so. So, how do I feel about this game? Well, I'm going to sum it up in one sentence for you. NHL. 21. A bad game, but a good experience. What do I mean? What do I mean by that phrase? What do I mean by a bad game, but a good experience? Well, let me explain for it. NHL 21 is by no means a polished game. There are a handful, no, a bucket full. F fuck it, a bathtub full. I'm not at the beach, this is a bathtub. <laughs> of issues that, that, with this game. I feel a bathtub full isn't a big enough object to hold the amount of bugs and broken mechanics this game has. But I'm gonna take a dive in and run through some of them real quick. <coughs> broken AI goalies, players and refs, the improved AI hockey IQ, improved goalie control and positioning, game saving goalie desperation, the revolutionary quote unquote gameplay, broken puck and collision physics, I make it feel like there are holes in your sticks. The uneven goalie balancing and shell game modes, the broken penalty shot bugs, black screen and death, the stupid glitch goal, the fact that the 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 motorcycle is almost... You, you get my point. There is so much wrong with this game, but that's just a drop in the bucket. That's a drop in the bathroom. But I gotta give credit where it's due. The soundtrack is amazing. It, they, they all, they knock it out of the park every single year. Menus are, like, the menus look good. Uh, we'll get to that later. Customization of players and jerseys are the best they've been in a while, along with arena customization. The quote-unquote okay be a pro mode, just, it's, it's good, just don't give me so many goddamn team talks or interviews or coach chats. Like, if you want to do that, let me skip all of them without singing the entire season and diminishing the value of my player. See, the pros and cons I listed, there's a huge difference with all these. The pros? They're cosmetic. They're not, they don't affect how the game plays. They don't affect how the physics of the game work. If this game was called NHL GM Simulator, I'd say this game is a 10 out of 10. It's customization is flawless in this game. And with that, you wouldn't be controlling a player. You wouldn't be playing the physical game. It'd be a good game. I'd play it a lot. I'd say it's a good, I wouldn't be writing this video, but it's not. Like this is a game made by EA who clearly gives zero shits about this franchise. And they give them the lowest budget to work with compared to their other franchises like FIFA and NBA. It shows. It shows a lot. I feel that this game has had a bad rep from the start. Being released during the pandemic, being rushed, it's not hard to tell after all. Honestly, I feel this game should have been delayed. It should have been. If it were delayed, the game could have been so much better. Look at every other video game company who was supposed to release games during the pandemic. They were all delayed until further notice. And when they came out, mwah, Flawless perfection, basically. Halo Infinite? The delay, like, I don't even know how many times. Like, five times, I think, it was delayed? This game just came out, and it's, it's the topic of the century, basically. I feel like if they delayed the game and put some more work into it, they could have taken their time with the game development and have people understand the topic. Like, have the people that are working on it understand what the game is about. You know what else? Is, like, that's not the only important thing. Game testing. Game testing is so important, and it's not done enough in a lot of video games. Like, Black Ops 3, for example, Call of Duty. Their supply drop system was fucking broken. No one liked it. No one enjoyed it at all. Like, same thing with this game. This game is not playtested. I'll put, motherfucker, I'll put money on it. But this game was not playtested at all. For example, there's been countless amount of times when I'm playing Chell, Solo, Be a Pro, whenever. The puck is about maybe a foot away from the goalie. What does the goalie do? Absolutely nothing. He just sits, he just sits there. He just sits there and stares at it. And then they pass it in front and goal. Like with their improved AI hockey and their improved goalie positioning, you think the goal, you think, you think that wouldn't happen. You think, oh, anything with any, you think anyone with the fuck. That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do. You think. Anyone with the smallest brain cell left in their brain would realize, hmm, 
Maybe that's not correct. Maybe something doesn't seem right here. Like, right? Like, come on. Like, it doesn't take a lot of logic to realize that if the puck is that far away from the goalie, they're not going to let it sit there. They're going to charge that shit. And I mean, with their, like I said, with their improved AI, hawk, AI IQ, you think it would happen. You think that's how it would go. Like, honestly, I think it's shitty to say. It's shitty to say. I love this game. I'll get to that later. But it's it sucks because... I feel like their improved AI hockey IQ and their improved goalie positioning facts, they just put that on the box. They didn't care. They didn't test it. They didn't They didn't make sure it was correct. They didn't do anything with it. They just put it on the box to make sure the game seemed revolutionary and fresh. But really, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. But it's just, it's a fucking NHL 20 reskin. But worse. It's way worse. But you can't, you can't, you can't take away the, you can't take away the positives. I love playing this game. I, I play it all the time with my buddies on stream, off stream, when I'm just home alone, like midnight, just chilling in my bed, just playing. I love it. It's so much fun to play. When you don't give a shit. I will play this game when I'm drunk, when I'm sober, and if I don't give a fuck, it's fun. It, it's really fun. Trust me. But if you're playing this game for enjoyment, like for seriousness and competitive, you're playing the wrong game. Go play fucking Call of Duty. You're, you're, this isn't the game for that. They focused on making this game so arcadey style that the competitive mode just isn't competitive anymore. There's broken shit, broken goals, broken physics, broken refs. But it's Everything is broken about that competitive game mode. What they should have done is they should have made a competitive game mode simulation style only. And that's it. Keep arcade and chill. Keep it. If you want to keep the three, the three on three eliminator, that's arcade. That should be your arcade game mode for chill. Everything else should be simulation style, and that's it. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be anything else. Why? Why care about it? This game is a bitch to play when you're not playing for jokes. Like. <sighs> Even though playing this game competitively absolutely sucks the pride and joy out of my achy breaky heart, it's still a fucking amazing experience. That's what I mean by NHL 21 being a good game but a bad experience. The physical game fucking sucks. It's the worst I've seen in the entire franchise. It's been a blast to play on stream. It's been a blast to play by myself. It's been a blast to play with my friends. Even with the downsides. It's a good experience. It's fun. When you don't give a shit. Like, honestly, I don't know, like... It sucks to say, but I don't know if I'll ever play this game competitively again. I'll play Chell still with my buddies just for fun and joke around, but I mean, we've done everything we've imagined to do with this game. In the NHL 20, we were not good. We, I'm, I'm okay to admit that. If you watch the last video I posted about NHL 20, it fucking sucks. We're not, we were not good back then, but I am amazed with how fast we progressed in this game. In the first two months, the first two months, we we're on the top 5% of the entire game in Chell. I know that's not hard to do because when the game comes out, there's not a lot of people playing. Like, not a lot of clubs. But I get that. But even still, we're still in the top 5%. As of right now, I'm recording. I checked this about five minutes ago. There are 103,178 clubs registered at the time of this. There are 5,158 clubs in the top 5%. We are a part of that 5,158. That's that's amazing. I, I never thought we'd be able to say that about ourselves. That's like we we each of us probably have about ten years each in, in experience in this game, so we know what we're doing. But it's just we 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 become a different team in this, and it's been amazing to watch. But I'm excited for next year. I'm excited for NHL 22. It's coming out soon, and I'm probably gonna buy it. I'm probably gonna buy it. I'm probably gonna pre-order it again. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be playing Chell again, hopefully with the same team. If not, I'll have to find somebody else, but I'm sure I'll be able to find people. I'm just hoping, I'm praying and hoping that EA sets themselves straight. I'm hoping that they get rid of the issues and the fucking bathtub full of bugs when the new game comes out. Like, in this game, NHL 21, they should have addressed it with patch notes and updates, but they didn't. They never have. I have not seen one patch note actually no no okay i take that back here's an example there was a patch note in about april may around there february or maybe there is something called the black screen bug with with shootouts in shell in any game mode you go for a penalty shot your game just sits there on a black screen 
but it still counts like in the back you're visually seeing a black screen but in the background of that you're playing the game it, just, it counts as a failure penalty shot and you get rid of a chance of a goal there are so many times that this bug has cost us games and cost us tournament games like it's ugh, it's so annoying but they they said they fixed it oh we fixed the bug when black screen does not happen when penalty shots motherfucker it happened the same day the same day that patch came out we played we wanted to test it we got the black screen bug it makes no sense they don't play test the game they just say they fix it to hope it pleases people they, I, I swear to god but it, with all the negatives aside like i said this game is horrible this game is bad if i were to rank it from a, like maybe a, like an ign scale from 10 to 1 i'd give it maybe a 3 at best not for one because it's not a broken piece of shit that you can't even start you can start it all the game modes work just not 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 good if you know what i'm saying like i'd give it maybe a three out of ten but it's not like i'm not a game reviewer I, I don't do that for a living but from someone who's had 10 plus years of experience in the nhl franchise and playing video games with it like honestly i'd have to go play nhl slapshot on the fucking wii instead of this like come on ea you have to set yourself straight and you're not doing it but here's to ea I know I've given them a lot of shit, but they take it, and they try to spin it, and they try, they really do try. I just, I thank you for not giving up on us, thank you for keep going, keeping on going with developing games, hopefully NHL 22 is better. Um, I hope EA can find, find this video, I doubt they will, because YouTube algorithm fucking suck, but I hope they find this and use this as positive feedback, to build a better game, for experience, like a better experience. Oh, another thing. I just thought of this now. Their RP system in Shell fucking sucks. There are teams that have 150 wins and 5 losses in Superstar Cup and will have more RP than a team with, like, will have almost the same amount of RP as a team with 20 wins and no losses. That's it. We, we've done it ourselves. We know. And we've played the playoffs in Shell. And we've gone maybe, like, I think our first season we did it, we went 35 and 10. We've had the same amount of RP with going 4-1. and one. Just playing the qualifying games, we get 4 wins, 1 loss in the qualifying games, and we sit there and let it play out. We were actually in a higher ranking with the 4-1 and one than the 35-10. and 10. Like, what the fuck? How, that doesn't make sense. It makes, they need, with Chell, they need to go to a system where it's, you get a point for a win, you get no points for a loss, and you get a point for an overtime loss. Do that. That's it. Just have a set amount of play games you can play in playoffs so you don't have this rp system you play say 20 games that's all you have to play for that season for the playoffs two win two points for a win nothing for a loss one for overtime loss that way if there is any tiebreakers i'm sure there will be plenty of teams with 20 wins you can go down the stats goals for goals against time on attack time against like save percentage even though their goalies are fucking broken because one goalie's on superstar, one's on rookie every single time. But that's whatever. That's that that's something else. Like you don't understand how frustrating it is to see this game fail. It really did. It, I'm not saying fail like no one plays. I'm just saying fail because of how bad of it, like how bad of a game it is. It's a good experience to play. I love playing it, but I would never, ever, if I were given the choice to play a competitive game and win money off of it. I don't know if I'd pick NHL 21. Even though we have such an experience and we'd be okay at it, we'd be good at it, we'd probably maybe, we'd maybe win. I, I could see us winning it. But why? Why would you? It's just, you're putting your hands in the fate of RNG goalies with superstar and rookie level difficulty. You're putting your hands in the fate of stupid gameplay, stupid physics, everything. Glitch goals, cross creases that go in 99% of the time. You're putting your hands in the fate of a game that has no stable system. We, you can't do that. So, <sighs> I've ranted enough. I, I This has been recording for about half an hour. I have been, I'm, I'm done. It's a bad game, but a fun experience. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, go check out my Twitch. Link will be in the bio. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, happy gaming.